Hi everybody, my name is Tim Ross and I'm the inventor of the Crowvol. I wanted to spend just a little bit of time to tell you what inspired us to put this together and kind of the feature and benefits of what this thing is all about. Um, it really started off with this, a little thin piece of tin. Now, the E-Tool has been in just about every one of our great wars. It has a place, um, but lately, if you haven't found the older versions, the World War I and World War II um, versions, they tend to get really thin, flimsy. These wooden handles break every single time you try to whack a piece of wood or even go out there and do what they're intended for, and that's to dig. It's not the most reliable thing. I know I can get these things for about $3.50. Personally, I don't want to trust my life to something that is probably in China made for about a buck fifty, buck twenty-five. These tools are meant to save your life, all right? What we've done with the crowbar here is combine 13 other tools to be able to make this thing reliable, very strong, and made in the USA. It is American steel and is really, really strong. It's guaranteed for life. Now, with these e-tools, the few of the Achilles heel comes from, of course, the riveted metal, the really ultra-thin grade of metal. Now, the differences between the Crowvolt and this is probably about eight gauges. This is a 10 gauge hardened steel, where this is pop, almost pop tin. Um, it's just uh, stamped out and then riveted right here. Now these tend to really bend. The first time you take a whack at a hard uh, maple tree or even pine will tend to bend these things and deform it. Then this is the part that even when we started to do our demonstrations and our prototypes is this plastic. Uh, I thought it was metal, but it's really plastic. Actually, even in World War II, it was just a, a pop metal. Still very, very thin, a little bit of heat melts them, it doesn't work at all. And again, this um, collar is actually thinner than the metal that's on the shovel. So you have basically three, four weak points um, coming around to you know, making this version kind of obsolete. Now, with the Crowbolt, what you're dealing with again is the 12 gauge steel. Um, we sharpen it, pre-sharpen it at the, uh, at the factory um, to be pretty razor sharp. Um, this is sharper than any axe that I've ever had. This side actually substitutes for an axe. I have an East Wind axe, love it to death, but this does the same thing as my East Wind axe, uh, plus more. On the other side, we've got a real aggressive sawtooth design, bottle opener, We've, um, instead of riveting, we've had these electronically welded um, with the same grade um, gauge steel um, with, uh, right down here on the uh, head of the shovel, giving it some super strength. The actual collar itself, we couldn't actually find anything on the market, so we had this custom billet um, piece made out of steel with grade 8 washers. There's none stronger, all right, so this uh, gives this the ability, so once you put it in this position, which is either your hoe position, weed whacker, whatever you want to call it, I use it as a, actually as a seat. With this grade A washer, it's going to give you super, super strength. It's never going to bend on you. We've also wrapped the handle with paracord. Um, it's about 15 to 20 feet of paracord here to here. Now, I can't even tell you how many things that you can do. Um, uh, out in the wilderness with a paracord. It's kind of a lifesaver. Duct tape, paracord, crowbar, you've got almost all the bases covered right there. Um, the unique thing about the crowbar in its design is this part. Breaking of the handles will never happen with this. This is an 18 inch gooseneck crowbar. Hardened steel again with a one inch um, hammer platform at the other end. We've uh, gone ahead and put a, uh, uh, a hole through here so that you can put another wrist um, strap here, but I also use this um, when I want to go ahead and put a, a longer rope and use this as a grappling hook. Now the video that we're putting together right now, we're going to take this out and field test it so you'll get a chance to see everything that I'm talking about. Um, we're going to do it. We're going to show you everything that this thing can do. This is the one tool your bug out bag has to have. This is the one thing that's going to be able to take the place of about 13 other products. All right. Again, super efficient. You've got your hammer here. Not a 
carpenter, but I can hit him. The axe blade, it's not going to break on you. And it's strong. You know, as a breech tool, you can't do that with any other type of uh, thin piece of tool here. Nothing happens. This thing will break down doors. This will break a car open if you had to get somebody out as a first responder. This is the one tool that when you see it coming out you or out of a car at you, you don't know what side's coming, this side, this side, either or. It's just a formidable tool of destruction or that will save your life. It's the Groval. Let's go check it out in the field. Groval strong. <laughs>